Welcome everybody. We are presenting the emissions inventory portions of the QMIS. My name is Jesse Tay. I'm with Lakes Environmental along with my partner Mr. Michael Johnson who will present the live demo. Uh, we will be presenting this webinar starting now. We're going to present first an overview of what we're going to see in the emissions inventory. And the idea of the overview is to guide you to things that we're going to see in the live demo. This overview then helps you not get lost within the presentations we're making today. Once we finish the live demo, we're going to a question and answer. Now the summary or emissions inventory, where the pain points and why something like this is a much better alternative to producing emissions inventory. First of all, emissions inventories are the cornerstone of any air program. It's where everything starts. This is like getting sick, going to the doctor. Before getting your medication, the doctor must assign a diagnosis, find out what you have. So this is the emissions inventory. Once that's done, then we can have air dispersion modeling, we can have risk assessment, permitting, enforcement, we can have all the other parts of the program, but emissions inventory is the cornerstone. There are a lot of pain points with emissions inventory because it's a very complex process. AQMIS hugely simplifies the process. There are more than 10,000 activities that emit to the atmosphere. It goes from frying hamburger to mobile sources like cars, to a whole refinery, to painting walls, and so on and so forth. It's a very error-prone process. It is expensive, and when you have to do it the next year and the following year, you have to start almost from scratch. People using Excel spreadsheets get lost six months to finish up an emissions inventory. This system, once you complete it, next year it's almost as pressing a button and have your new year emissions inventory completed for you. I'm going to present what is the EI in AQMIS. AQMIS, as you saw, or you might have seen, it is composed of emissions inventory module, air dispersion modeling, all the monitor stations managed, compliance, permitting, enforcement, reporting, mapping, etc. So this first screen here is a dashboard. You can see we have, in terms of bar charts for emissions, measurement, where emissions are coming from. This is not a wind road, this is a pollution road. So we can account for all that on the dashboard. So this quick overview, I'm going to see different dashboards, map, the mapping system, the benefit, calculations, method. We're going to see pre-made calculators. We have calculators to cover over 10,000 processes that emit to the atmosphere. The complete AP42, EIIP, Emissions Improvement, Emissions Inventory Improvement Program from the US EPA, many other calculation methods, uh, greenhouse gas from various regions in the world reporting so the benefits are innumerous. Regulatory agencies have been having their budget cut continuously. A system like this can automate and make it viable to still produce the emissions inventory with the scarce resources. Consultants, when they get in the project with us, uh, we are an IT company basically, engineering and environmental consultants get to do the consulting work and they stay. They stay, we have clients that have the same consultant that we brought in to this day. Facilities have an immense reduction in cost and also way less visible red tape because the red tapes then are resolved, automated by HMIS. The dashboards, you can see the example of dashboards here, this is like these uh, bar charts, but we also do them on the dashboards with different jurisdictions. This system works for companies and also works for regulatory agencies. When it's regulatory agencies, it's very interesting to see the jurisdictions. Let's say it's the state of Texas. I could have all the counties with different colors and the highest of the counties the highest emitters in red, the other one with different colors for you to assess. On road dashboard, greenhouse gases dashboard for those locations in the world that need to report greenhouse gases. Emissions calculations, you can use predefined calculators and you can also create your own calculation method very easily. Mr. Michael Johnson on the live demo will show you how this is done. And then we can segregate all the emissions by source type. It is mobile, on-road, non-road. 
power electric generation, mining, area sources like known point, those are too small to be accounted as a single major source, industrial sources, everything can be sliced and diced for a better understanding. We have a complete map, interact with the map. Maps are very good because you can see the locations of the sources because emissions inventory is not a, just a process to fill up and then submit, do nothing else with it. Let's say you want to assess where areas of uh, major impacts are. You can get your emissions inventory with HMIS, press a button, and it will then do dispersion model for all the sources. A case in point, Minnesota Pollution Control Agency run all the sources on the state, including the industrial, including commercial, on-road, non-road. It's over 200,000 sources running simultaneously. We run that for them annually, such that it supports how they prioritize their activities. You can also have different types of maps, as we display here, and here, and here, such that you can glean meaning out of your data. And the maps are very important for that. We have different types of reports. We have text table report, reports for graphics like these ones. We have reports for greenhouse gases, mobile sources. There goes greenhouse gases and emissions calculators. You can see here we can have the uh, predefined calculators, create your own batch emissions. So if you have a large set of uh, calculations you have to do, you already have the data throughput, for example, you press we will execute all of them for you. There are many types of uh, calculation methods. We will not cover all of them. If you have to create your own, it's very easy. Mr. Johnson will show this one here. This file, you define your equation, where are the variables, where are the emissions factors, where are the chemicals, like run, and you have a new calculator, just like that. On road sources, you can also import ready-made, and if you're a regulatory agency, you can get Excel spreadsheets to define the predefined format. It's just importing, and then you can import into the system, and importing pre-made calculations. And now we have what I believe to be the most important and the nicest part of the presentation, which is the live demo. I'll pass this to Mr. Michael Johnson.